The motion is agreed to. The U.S. Senate is now taking what should be the final step needed to approve Brett Kavanaugh for the U.S. Supreme Court, 30 hours of debate and a vote. The process has been delayed for nearly three weeks due to allegations of sexual assault, a special Senate hearing to review the allegations, and a one-week delay so the FBI could investigate. Saying thank you is not an answer. Please. Senator Jeff Flake, a swing vote, was pressured by sexual assault victims into calling for the delay. And yet, despite protests out of his office and a review of the FBI's report, Flake says he will vote yes on Kavanaugh. And do you plan to vote yes tomorrow? So, unless something big changed, I don't see uh, what would. But, uh, but anyway, I'm glad we had a better process. Kavanaugh was already a contentious choice because of his conservative views on abortion, gun laws, and presidential powers. But in mid-September, it was revealed Christine Blasey Ford had accused him of trying to rape her when they were teenagers. I've never sexually assaulted Dr. Ford or anyone. As Kavanaugh tried to clear his name, his testimony before the Senate Judiciary Committee raised new concerns. Was he too hot-headed to be one of the United States' top judges, possibly for decades? Even the former U.S. Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens called Kavanaugh unfit for the post. Supporters call this criticism slander and insist Kavanaugh should be approved. Judge Kavanaugh was publicly accused of a crime and his reputation and livelihood were at stake, so it was only fair that his accuser have the burden of proof. The consensus is that the burden was not met. Republican Lisa Murkowski said on Friday she would not vote in Kavanaugh's favor, but two other so-called swing senators signed off in support of the nominee, moving Kavanaugh's confirmation that much closer to the finish line. I had to deal with the facts I had in front of me. I will vote to confirm Judge Kavanaugh. The U.S. President Donald Trump has cheered the U.S. Senate's decision to hold its final debate and vote. But the outcome won't be known until all of the senators have actually cast their ballots, and not a second before. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Capitol Hill.